Jesse Kelly here. I'm not a financial expert, but I do look for solid investment opportunities for investment growth and protection against loss. I do know that putting all your eggs in one basket is not a good financial plan. Securing your IRA or 401k with real gold and silver with Fox for Gold is as easy as one, two, three. Or you can buy precious metals and keep them in your safe. One app, one call, and you pick your precious metals. Call 833-901-COIN. That's 833-901-COIN. C-O-I-N. A couple of last phone calls for you, Swami, that are coming in. People, okay, hello. Uh, yes. Hey, Adam, you're on with the Swami. How you doing, Swami? I uh, wanted to ask you about guilt. I know that a number of religions, such as Christianity, sort of base their uh, keeping people in line on guilt, uh, which seems to be sort of a negative reinforcement. How do you see uh, reinforcement uh, trying to keep people in line with religious teachings? We remind them of their own divine nature. We believe that every human being has a divine core and uh, that God is imminent within us and so uh, who, who is there to be feel guilty about in, in front of? He's not, you know, we don't believe he's somebody sitting up in the sky on a judgment throne and looking at you and writing down his, your score. We don't believe in that. We believe that uh, God is right inside of us. That's excellent. Thank you so much. We on the Morning X teach much of the same thing on a daily basis. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We try to uh, instill that thought. Uh, can you give us, uh, for people who are sitting there at their desk right now, maybe in their car and they're in for a day of stress, is there uh, maybe a short form lesson that you could help us? You know, what's, a, what's something we could do to help relieve stress on a daily basis? Maybe something you could teach us quickly to do, an easy lesson. Okay, Jimmy, but I don't recommend that you do it while driving. Okay. Please. Okay. <laughs> if you know you're sitting still, you don't have to, can't move at all. Or if you're where you're not driving, you know, just close your eyes and try to internalize and respect, regard yourself as a spectator of all this busy scene. You're far off, you're really far above all of this. It's a kind of show. It's a movie that you somehow got involved in instead of uh, knowing it as a movie. And you can say, Om, Om is a universal mantra. It's uh, the sacred word, the name of God in our tradition. And you can say that to yourself and repeat, Om, 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 for as long as you can. And keep your eyes closed, and you can also have it Om. open. Plus, right, that, that'd be a good practice to do Om. when you can do it. Nobody else is oming. <laughs> I bet my movie's a little bit different than Barnes's movie. Can I get an ohm Our in the house? Are all different? Ohm, 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 ohm. Yeah, this is a, a mantra that's in the public domain, so you can you can have that oh, free. I, I gave that away free this morning. Oh, okay, all right, that's all nice, right, Swami. That's very nice. Uh, one last call from Helen. Helen, hello. Hello there. How are you? Good. You're on with the Swami. Great Swami. Question. Yes, Helen. Um, do you believe that the soul exists before the body? And if so, at what point do you think that the soul enters the body, like at conception or birth? You know, Barnes and I discussed this between 6 before and 7 show, this morning. Yeah, yeah during uh, the early hours oh. it came up. And I'm pregnant right now, so this is really just re- you know totally relevant to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, uh, I don't know whether I can answer it theoretically because there's a difference of opinion um, even among us about that. Oh, really? Yes. The tradition, the Hindu tradition that I come from and I take my spirituality from says that uh, the soul exists from eternity and is never really born. But if you want to talk about how it enters the individual uh, manifestation, well, it probably does at conception. That's mm-hmm. the tradition we come from. Right. Do you believe in reincarnation? Uh, I believe that reincarnation is a temporary answer to the question and not the final answer. I mean, are you, when you die, do you come back as something? You are, you do as long as you're ignorant. As long as you're ignorant. Right. Okay. When you get out of ignorance, you don't come back anymore. Can I add one more thing to my question? Yes, Helen. Do you think that you choose your destiny? In other words, like, say, my child that I'm carrying now, do you think that that child chose me to be 
It's Parrot. Yes, I do, Ellen. Great, yeah. so do I. So uh, that's that's cool. Okay, cool. Do you, Swami, and this is something that I've I've always wanted. Do you, as the Swami, uh, know who let the dogs out? Now, what does that mean? I don't think I know what that. There's means. deep meaning in that. Mm. It must it's be kind of one meaning. of those. It's kind of those eternal questions. You mean how where the problem of evil, how the problem of evil came out? Well, it's just it's kind of one of those spiritual eternal questions of uh, who let the dogs out. Mm -hmm. And then you just have to sit well, there and think. Mm -hmm. Om, om, om. Um. Okay, one last thing, Swami. Oh, great Swami. The fish quiz is something that we need you to do. It'll take 15 seconds, so we'll need you to name as many fish as you can. Oh, really? Anything living underwater mm -hmm. would count as a point, and it's a speed game. Hmm. So we need the hyperactive swami if you've got that down in there. Well, this isn't exactly my line. Some but pace. But you've, uh, yeah, you, you, you certainly know, know different kinds of fish. You know things yeah. that live yeah. underwater. Yes, I used By the way, you vegetarian? Yeah, right. Mostly right now. Okay, good. So um, let's take a second to gather your thoughts, and I'll, and I'll give you a clock, and we'll give you 15 seconds to see how many you can get in 15 seconds. Just All whatever right, so is living and breathing underwater. Yeah. On your mark. Fish, ready? Get set. Swami, go. Cod, shark, salmon, pike, mm, lobster. Um, uh, oh, boy. Dude, you got started. You got me hung up here. Five for the Swami. Five, Swami. Five? That's not bad. I didn't perform Five. well. Swami kind of came out the gate strong. Yeah. And then stumbled a bit. Yeah. That's okay, though. You're the Swami. You have to keep you have to keep your composure. I'm not used to that kind of game. Well, what kind of games are you used to, Swami? Oh, um, the ones where you uh, learn how to control your uh, emotions. Emotions. You're the mental game kind of guy. Maybe you could teach us some of those games. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then we would have we no show. Learn a game or two like that. Swami, Ooh. it was a pleasure to meet you.